Somebody told me to be more consistent. I know I need to be more consistent, y'all. Bear with me, please. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. And if I keep looking away from the video, as I said in the previous video, it's because I got a lot of stuff going on and I'm looking at something and I'm looking for something, you know? So, bear with me, please. <laughs> Anyways, I've always wanted to know what people eat when, well, I, okay, let, let me, 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 let me say this before this video start. I do not believe that, I don't care what anybody did, I don't care what anybody does, I feel like no one has the right to take another person's life. So, I don't care... No one has, I feel like no one has the right to set a date where someone should be killed or should be murdered or anything. I feel like, huh. But I feel like you should, like, nobody has the right to take a person's life. No matter what that person did. Whatever that person did is between that person and God. I know, like, if somebody hurt my child or somebody do something to mine, one of mine's. You know, I got a lot of not children, children that's actually my children because I ain't got no kids. I am got nothing. I've been trying, but nothing yet. Y'all would know. Y'all would know. Y'all would know. Just stay tuned. Just stay tuned. Anyways, I know I'm cheesy as fuck, but I feel like nobody should take anybody's life. But apparently, this video says 10 shocking last meal requests on death row. So let's see what they wanted. Before they died. Well, should I say, got killed, you know. Ten last meals on death row. Lawrence Russell Brewer. Lawrence Russell Brewer's last meal inspired the state of Texas to cease this tradition. It wasn't what he requested, but instead what he did with his meal. Brewer requested a triple bacon cheeseburger, two chicken fried steaks with gravy and onions, a cheese and beef omelet, tomatoes, a meat lover's pizza, bell peppers, jalapenos, a bowl of okra, one pound of barbecue meat, half a loaf of bread, three fully loaded fajitas, three root beers, a pint of ice cream, and a slab of peanut butter fudge. This certainly put the kitchen Dang. on alert, but what ticked everyone off was when he refused to eat a single bite of his epic last meal. <laughs> what he do with it? He gave it to the other John inmates? John Wayne Gacy. John Wayne Gacy was the infamous killer clown who raped and killed 33 boys and young men. Okay. <clears throat> y'all already know. If y'all know me, y'all already know how I am. Y'all already know how I am. I think raping children are horrible. I know, like, I don't have kids, but I do got children who are mine, who I call mine. And, um, rape people who do does that to kids and people who take children's lives and does things like that and that such. Excuse me for looking away. I think they are horrible people. I do. But I still do not feel that anyone has a right to kill them. Or set a date for them to die. Like, I don't know who gave y'all the right to do this, but I think it's wrong. Keeping their bodies in his home. He was convicted in 1980 and was sentenced to death, which took place in 1994. For his last meal, Gacy requested 12 pieces of fried shrimp, a bucket of original KFC fried chicken, french fries, and a pound of strawberries. Why? Timothy McVeigh was the terrorist responsible for the Oklahoma City bombing in 1995. Oh. He was convicted of terrorism and mass murder and sentenced to the death penalty. He was executed. Wait, wait, y'all. I know we on this one, but I kind of, I kind of wanted to see the other guy again. So can we go? I'm, I'm gonna just rewind it back just a little bit. So, not this guy. This guy. John Wayne Gacy was the infamous killer clown who raped and killed 33 boys. Is this where they got It from? Because I haven't watched the movie It yet, but a lot of people said It was based on a true story, but I don't know, you know. 
young men keeping their bodies in his home. He was convicted in 1980. Wait, he keep their bodies in his home? Bro, that's some fucked up shit. I know y'all probably like, and you wish he wasn't there. Yes, I don't want nobody to kill God, Lee. <laughs> like, you gotta explain stuff to people who watch your YouTube videos, because... I'm tired of getting bashed on YouTube because y'all folks got attitude problems and stuff. I'm not talking about my supporters. I'm talking about the folks that come on my channel and watch my video and still got an attitude. Like, I don't care because you watch my video, boo. You watch my video, boo. Like, guys, that's all I wanted with your view. Yes, you gave it to me, boo. Anyways, <laughs> let me go through here. I'm sorry I rewinded by mistake. Uh, I think it was here. Death, which took place in 1994. For his last meal, Gacy requested 12 pieces of fried shrimp, a bucket of original KFC fried chicken, french fries, and a pound of strawberries. Timothy McVeigh. Timothy McVeigh was the terrorist responsible for the Oklahoma City bombing in 1995. He was convicted of terrorism and mass murder and sentenced to the death penalty. He was executed in 2001, but before his death, he requested a last meal of two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream. Clarence I think mint chocolate chip ice cream is just so nasty. I feel like when people get to that point where they feel like they're going to die and you ask them for their last meal, I feel like they feel like, shit, there's nothing I really want. You know, there's nothing they really want. So they just choose a bunch of random stuff. You know, I feel like that's why they do that. Because honestly, my last, if, if somebody was going to kill me, my last meal would be soul food for my grandma. But unfortunately, I can't get that because my grandma passed away. So, I'd just be like, fuck, just some chocolate cake Alan. or something. Clarence Ray Allen was the second oldest inmate to be executed at the age of 76. What? He was convicted of three counts of murder in 1980, but wasn't executed until 2006. He was a diabetic and suffered a heart attack in 2005. With these health issues, that might have been why Allen had a healthy last meal, which consisted of buffalo steak, fried chicken, and sugar-free pecan pie, and sugar-free walnut ice cream. William Bonin. Wow. Known as the Freeway Killer, William Bonin committed some dis The Freeway Killer? Y'all come up with some crazy names. Like, what the world? Despicable crimes, including the rape and murder of 21 boys and a young man. He Aww. was in prison in San Quentin, California, and requested two pepperoni pizzas and three helpings of chocolate ice cream as his last meal. He was also chugging Pepsi and Coca-Cola the night before his execution, apparently trying to kill himself from diabetes. Robert Buell. Robert Buell became an overnight celebrity after he was accused and convicted of the rape and murder of 11-year-old Krista Harrison in 1982. He was convicted in 1984, but he was not executed until 2002. His last meal request was rather odd, as he requested a single black olive unpitted. Miguel Richardson. I kinda, yeah. Miguel Richardson had killed two security guards at a Holiday Inn in San Antonio, Texas in 1979. He wasn't arrested until 1980 and was sentenced to death in 1981, mm. but he wouldn't be executed until 2001. His last meal request was very sentimental, as he requested a birthday cake with the date 22390, his wedding date. He also requested Aww. a lot of fruit and a salad with Thousand Island dressing. Ronnie Lee Gardner. Ronnie Lee Gardner was convicted of two counts of murder in 1985 and sentenced to death. He sat on death row for 25 years and finally received his last meal. Garner's last meal consisted of lobster tail, steak, apple pie, and vanilla ice cream. That's what I'm talking about, baby. His meal while watching the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Jonathan Nobles. Jonathan Nobles was convicted of killing two women in 1986, and he was sentenced to the death penalty. During his time in prison, Nobles had become a devout Christian and spent about 12 years in prison before he was executed in 98. His last supper was literally the last supper from the Bible, as he requested the Holy Communion, which consisted of bread, bread and wine. That's Thomas lit. Grasso. Thomas Grasso was convicted of two murders, one being the strangulation of an 87-year-old woman Why? and the killing of an 81-year-old man six months later. He only spent two years and five months on death row before he was executed. How about you try to murder someone your own size? Like, look, let me shut up, because, like, I don't need nobody coming to get me, because I am... I did nothing, 
Okay, I said nothing. No one hurt you. Either. Grasso's last meal was extravagant, consisting of two dozen steamed mussels, two dozen steamed clams, a cheeseburger, half a dozen spare ribs, wow. two strawberry milkshakes, strawberries, half of a pumpkin pie, and wow. a of spaghetti with meatballs. But the meal wasn't perfect. He requested spaghettios, not spaghetti. This inspired his famous so? last words. I did not get my spaghettios. I got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. <laughs> We what the hell is wrong with these them. people? I these people made, are made crazy, yo. These folks are crazy, yo. But I still feel like you shouldn't be able to kill nobody. But that's just my opinion. Tell me how y'all feel about it in the comment section down below. Tell me which meal was the craziest or which meal which which meal y'all thought was decent. Like tell me, tell me, talk to me. In the comment section. Yes. <laughs> Um, thank you guys for watching this video with me. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell. All of that for updates. And I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to follow me on Patreon. The, the link to my Patreon account be in the, just in the comment section down below and in the description. So, peace. Maybe you should pull the fucking trigger. Pull the trigger. Ain't nobody gonna do for you. Ooh.